You cannot even show me one Bitcoin. Gentlemen, this is... What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI, and let's have a look at Ryan George as the first guy to ever order food delivery. Uh, these have been very funny. I love the pitch meetings. I will be checking out Black Widow soon and doing the Black Widow pitch meeting as soon as I possibly can because I really want to thank the uh, Ryan George fans that check out these videos. You guys are awesome. You've been a great supporter of the channel. We just cleared 2,000 subs and I want to keep growing. So next step on that little journey is the first guy to ever order food delivery by Ryan George. Let's check it out. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. More about them at the end of the sketch. I'm told that the... Food I just want to say, I've been told that the ads in these are actually quite funny, so I will check out the astronaut at the end. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. More about them at the end of the sketch. Food place. Hi there. Hello. Listen, I'm hungry. I want some of the food. You want to reserve a table? No, I have bring a it. table here. <laughs> so you want to bring your own table here. A little weird, but okay, I guess. I want to eat your food on my table here, metaphorically <laughs> speaking. It'll mostly be on my lap. I'm waiting for him to be like, and I want you to bring it to me. <laughs> In front of the TV. Okay, see, okay, that's actually gonna be a problem, because the food we make is here, right, chef? Is the food here? Yeah, the food is here. <laughs> what are you even asking me? Okay, listen, I totally get that the food is there, but the thing is, I myself am here. Right. So, you see what the issue is here? Yeah, mm. I guess, but... You know, our concept doesn't seem compatible with your request. Tell him that we have chairs here. Oh, yeah, we have chairs here. You could sit in one of those and eat the food. I'm already in a chair and I quite like it. I feel like I'm being pretty clear on that. He's already sitting in a chair and he quite likes it. Understandable. Chairs are hard to get out of sometimes. Well, yes. listen, sir, I don't really know what to tell you here. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we have a situation on our hands, don't we? Not really. If you don't come eat food here, there's not much for us to talk about, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I I disagree. See, I have money, and I suspect that you like exchanging food for money. Oh, yeah, we do want money. We do Is like money. Yeah, I'm standing pretty close to you, and my ears are award-winning. They don't give out awards for hearing. Well, then I suppose I might have misheard them. Okay, so listen, sir, we do want <laughs> money. That's why we make food in the first place. So we do have a situation on our hands. I suppose we do. All right, so... Let's play ball. All Let's right. play ball. What are you thinking at like at the park this weekend? Yeah, this weekend at the park. Now back to this food situation. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking you have a person bring some food to me and while that person is here, I can give them some money. Okay, counter offer. What if we meet halfway? Ooh, that's not going to work for me. I'm not wearing any pants and I don't intend yeah. on putting any on. Okay, I'm that's not fair. That's the fair. House. We could send a guy over in a car, I guess. Now in terms of refilling your water glass, does he just hang out while you eat or what's up? Oh, I'd prefer if he didn't come into my home. <laughs> okay, well part of our whole thing is that a guy fills up your water glass once in a while. I'm willing to sacrifice that part of the experience. Really? Yeah, I'm cool with this guy <laughs> just standing in my door. I love how excited the restaurant manager is at the concept that the he's not going to have to stay there and keep waiting the tables. <laughs> Sacrifice that part of the experience. Really? Yeah, I'm cool with this guy just standing in my doorway while we awkwardly exchange food and money. And then he leaves. Yeah, this guy yep. sees a small section of my house and he sees me at my worst and then he leaves. And so then he'll just call you every couple of minutes to see if everything's to your liking then. No, I feel like I could yeah. forego that part of the experience too. Really? I haven't spoken <laughs> really? in a while. Oh, so here's another thing I just thought of. This guy is gonna kinda have to stick around cause we're gonna need to get our plates and dishes and stuff back, you know? No, I don't want that. Well, we're gonna need the plates back. Yeah, what's the plan here? Are you gonna wash our dishes and bring them back at a later date? No, listen, I'm feeling too lazy to cook. I'm definitely feeling too <laughs> lazy to do dishes. I don't oh, want yeah. anything to do with dishes. Well, what, is our guy supposed to come to your place with just handfuls of food? That's unsanitary and it's gonna make it hard to drive. Maybe you guys put the food in a box that I then throw out. That's just gonna kind of contain the food steam and make it soggier than it should be. I'm willing <laughs> to live true. with that if it means I don't have to do dishes. 
dishes. Wow, so you're feeling like really lazy. This guy's out here making all kinds of compromises. Yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight, I decided. What if we get the order wrong? Then I won't have much recourse and that's fine. That's how lazy I'm feeling. Whoa, <laughs> this guy's kind of my hero. I don't even want to go to my fridge for condiments, so you're gonna have to figure that out for me too, please. What, like individually wrapped condiments? Little squirty packs? This guy's nuts. Also, if I'm being honest, this phone call is kind of a lot of effort. If you could figure out a way for this to not be a thing, that'd be great. What are you talking about? <laughs> also, if there's a way I could track the person delivering my food, just kind of supervise their progress from above, that'd be fantastic. Oh, I don't like that, Listen, though. sir, I think I should... Yeah, I'm not a fan of being able to track the dude because I just get annoyed, especially if Uber Eats and it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, this guy just has to drop off somebody else's order on the way to yours. It's like, really? Warn ya, I feel like these extreme levels of convenience could be a slippery slope for you. How so? I think it could develop into a frequent, unhealthy, yeah. expensive habit that makes it hard for you to save any money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Hi there. Hello, it's me. I'm the right, astronaut. We got I'm it? out here in ad space to talk to you about NordVPN. Hey, listen, sometimes your internet connection can be pretty closed-minded, you know? You'll be like, hey, I want to watch this show they have available in this other country. And your internet connection will be like, no, you're going to watch the stuff I say you can watch in this country, okay? <laughs> but guess what? With NordVPN, you can circumvent your closed-minded internet connection and watch stuff that's I don't available have a VPN. in other countries. Well, I don't know what circumstances. I'm curious means, about it, and that man. makes me angry. So I'm gonna lag in protest. Well, actually, no, you can't, because NordVPN has over 5,400 super fast servers in 59 countries. Well, dang, maybe That's I'll a lot find of a new job. What? Maybe I I'll guess. become a chef. That know. doesn't really work conceptually here. You're like a sentient internet connection. You can't cook. Yeah. Well, then how did I get this hat? Ah, uh, yeah. No, <laughs> you got me there. I don't know where you got that from. Anyway, you can also use NordVPN on up to six devices, and it works on every major platform, even Android TV. Let me know in the comments. If I have a VPN, does that mean I can start playing against American people on NBA 2K? Because at the moment, I only ever get paired up with Aussie servers and I don't play with Aussies, I would play with some Americans and have some fun and have a chat. So hey, head over to nordvpn.com slash Ryan George or use coupon code Ryan George to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. How do you want your eggs? Scrambled? All right, I actually, I don't have arms so I can't make eggs at all. No, I know. Jesus Christ. All right, that was uh, very, very funny. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love the uh, the very passive aggressive uh, jokes at the end. He's like, oh, this looks like a slippery slope. Maybe it might ruin your entire financial future. <laughs> that was such a, a nice touch. Cause yeah, I guess that's where we're at now with the society is you can get anything you want delivered through an app and you know, no contact and all that kind of thing. And I, I know a lot of people that just binge excessive Uber Eats may have a time or two but i really enjoyed that let me know in the comments which next ryan george video should be the one that i look at that sentence made no sense let me know in the comments which ryan george video i should have a look at next does that make sense either can't tell anymore my brain is fried but keen to hear what you guys have to say and as always be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace